What is up bros and brorettes, I am Ink Slasher, and today we are going to be talking about the truth behind Infinity Ward's Infinite Warfare. Now this is going to involve a whole bunch of things, it mainly stems from a, basically a conversation between Eric Hirschberg, who is actually the Activision CEO, he is one of the head honchos at Activision, he is probably one of those guys that put his foot down for the whole supply drop controversy. So this conversation was between the Activision CEO, Eric Hirschberg, and investors who they want to invest in Activision themselves. So you have to remember, this answer that he's giving these people is almost a sales pitch. He is trying to sell Infinity Ward and Activision and Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered to all of these investors. Really, really rich people. So you gotta keep that in mind when reading this. And really, we can read between the lines and see what he's actually saying in the statements throughout this kind of snippet we're going to read from their conversation. So the reason why I decided to make this video is because within Eric Hirschberg's statement, there is a lot of mistruths, and they're not lies, they're not blatant, full-out lies, they're incredible, incredible mistruths, and what those are is basically something a CEO or a salesperson will say to make what actually is going on sound more appealing to the people, investors, public, people that are going to buy the game. Now, th what this stems from is basically the Infinite Warfare, Warfare reveal trailer is like one of the most hated videos on the internet. If we look at this image here, we can see the video has 8.8 .8 million views, which is great. This is like the best a trailer has done in a very, very long time, but it has 194,000 likes and 411,000 dislikes. So almost or more than double the dislikes than likes. So the ratio is horrible as far as likes to dislikes go. Now, as far as this goes, if you're wondering, as far as YouTube videos, generally speaking, it's about a 10 to 1 ratio on videos that aren't hated. So, you'll have 10 likes for every dislike. This one is 2 dislikes to every like. So, it's absolutely, absolutely horrible. Now, this statement that Eric Hirschberg made was directly to a question about how he feels about the amount of dislikes on this video. And here is what he said. We're going to go through paragraph by paragraph and kind of stop and talk about what is actually going on with what he's saying. So he starts out by saying this. First of all, you've got to love the passion of gamers. This is an industry like no other. And we love that our fans treat this franchise like it's their own and have such strong points of view about it. There just aren't many entertainment franchises on earth earth that can generate the type of passion that call of duty can that's a good thing well eric that's obviously a fucking good thing that's why there's this entire youtube community based around these call of duty videos so what he's basically saying there is that he likes that there's this much passion there he likes that this many people are getting upset about something they love what he's not saying is that they are getting upset about something that they've been working on for three years now what he is saying here is that they entertainment franchise of Call of Duty is one of the most passionate out there. And it is. It, it is one of those communities that is extremely passionate about their craft. Now, he's saying it's one of a kind, and that simply just isn't true. Look at franchises, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, any single comic book out there, Avengers, anything, people are equally, if not more, passionate about those things. So, again, it's kind of a mistruth there. Now, the next thing he said is, secondly, of course we know that there are people in our community who are nostalgic for boots on the ground style gameplay, and that's why we made Modern Warfare Remastered. But we also have millions of people in our community who want to have new innovation experiences in each game each year. And Infinite Warfare is going to deliver that. So we obviously know that there's going to be a new gameplay style brought in through Infinite Warfare through that statement. Now, what he isn't saying in that is that the Call of Duty community, YouTube community, Twitch community, all of these online communities that revolve around Call of Duty are vocal minorities. What a vocal minority is, is it's a small percentage of a community that is the most loud. You hear the most. And that's YouTube. you got to remember that there's millions and millions of players playing Call of Duty that don't even know that the YouTube community exists. And the fact of that is that those are generally the people who like these boost jumps, who like this, who like that, and it's the YouTube community themselves that's completely against it. So what he is saying is that the Modern Warfare Remastered is to pamper towards the YouTube community and the Infinite Warfare game is to pamper towards everyone else, which is kind of almost rude to me. Like, 
I am a Call of Duty gamer who likes playing new games. I enjoy the old games, but every year I love to see a new game. I don't want the game I'm playing to be shit because someone who doesn't like the game as much as me or play the game as much as me wants a, something different. That That's... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But anyway, he goes on and says, And the good news is... This year, we found a way to deliver both in one package while keeping our community together. Whoa, 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 whoa. That doesn't make any freaking sense whatsoever. How are you co keeping your community together by having to release two Call of Duty games? That means the Call of Duty community is going to be playing two different Call of Duty games at the same time. This is splitting your... That sentence doesn't even make any sense. All right, what he is actually saying here is that we know the sales of Call of Duty Ghost weren't great, but guess what? We found a way to pamper to both the YouTube and Twitter and Twitch gaming communities and the casual gamers themselves by re-releasing an old game with remastered graphics. Now everyone's gonna buy the game. Anyway, I digress. Moving on, this is what he says going forward. And while of course we see the passionate opinions online, we also look at other measurements. And the fact is, although it's very early, the pre-orders are off to a very strong start. Views of the reveal trailer are up, and in fact the numbers of likes per view on the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer are also the highest we've ever seen. Now, this is freaking retarded. If he actually believes this for himself, he is out of his freaking gourd. I'm assuming this right here is the statement he's trying to use to sell the shares to the investors. Now, the reason why I say that is because there is one thing in the statement that is true, and the rest is just kind of marketing mumbo jumbo. For example, pre-orders are off to a very strong start, gives no numbers or any reference to any other games. Also, in that statement, he doesn't take into account that in the pre-order, they are offering something people are already going to know they like, Modern Warfare Remastered. People know that they are going to like that game, for, so for someone to pre-order it, they know what they're getting. The hard part of selling a pre-order is selling something to someone that they don't know whether they will like it or not. And the matter of fact is... That is why people are pre-ordering the game, not for Infinite Warfare. That is just retarded. Now, the thing that is true actually pertains to the next thing he says. So let's go ahead and read the next statement. So the next statement is, we've seen this in our franchise before. The reveal trailer for Black Ops 2, which took the franchise into the future for the first time, had the most dislikes of any reveal trailer we have ever made at that time. And that Black Ops 2 went on to become our most successful game ever. So, is he trying to sell Black Ops 2 or Infinite Warfare? I I'm not 100% sure. But, let's go ahead and look at the numbers. Because he is full of shit. Like, if we look at the numbers here, we can compare, actually, the Black Ops 2 trailer to the now infinite warfare trailer so the infinite warfare trailer has 8.8 .8 million views 194,000 likes and 411,000 dislikes if we look at the black ops 2 reveal trailer it has 34 million views 158,000 likes and 59,000 dislikes literally literally this has eight times more dislikes on the Infinite Warfare tr reveal than the Black Ops 2, and he's comparing the two. It makes no freaking sense. The one thing he said is true, that per view, the game is getting more likes than ever before. That is true, because the the one, the Infinite Warfare trailer has 8 million views and almost 200,000 likes, where the other one has 34 million views, being Black Ops 2, and has 158,000 likes. So, this just means more people are passionate about what, what they're watching, or are now more comfortable with liking or disliking the video. But seriously, dude, it has eight times more dislikes than the Black Ops 2 reveal trailer, and the game isn't even out yet. Like, the this comparison is balderdash. Like, literally, he is just talking out his ass saying that statement. In fact, the Black Ops 2 trailer has three times more likes than dislikes, whereas the Infinite Warfare reveal trailer has double the dislikes than likes. So, Hirschberg, don't freaking compare the two. It's not even goddamn close. Now, moving on, let's continue to hear him compare the games. The franchise has never been stronger. We have more people playing Black Ops 3, a game that takes place in the future with boost jumps and fictitious weapons and all the rest than any game in our history. So, 
What we know for sure is that if we always just did what worked in the past and never took any creative risks, we wouldn't have a franchise. The day to worry is the day we stop to try new things. So that is the end of his statement. And as you can tell, it seems very, very scripted. He compared it a lot to the successful games made by Treyarch, being Black Ops 2 and being Black Ops 3. Obviously, those are two very successful games that he's trying to ride the coattails of into Infinite Warfare. Now, obviously, this won't work for the YouTube community, but for investors who may not be as savvy with Call of Duty as us, that is why he's saying these things. Now, what I have to say about that is it's full of dick. Basically, this trailer was horrible. Um, I'm giving you my opinion now. This was one of the worst video game trailers I have ever seen. Ma yeah, the end of the trailer was great. When they showed Modern Warfare Remastered, it was great. But if you really watch that trailer and watch what it is, it's the most stereotypical future warfare trailer ever released. If you want to see a good, good reveal trailer, look at Dead Island. Look at something like that that really innovates on trailers and makes you interested in the game. This just looks like a shitty future warfare game and that's why it's like that in fact if you look at the black ops 2 reveal trailer too it's really not nothing that fantastic of a trailer like if you really look at it it's really not that great so what i'm getting from this is that these games just don't have great trailers and hopefully hopefully the innovation we see throughout this game is something that's going to benefit the call of duty community because the one thing that he said that i'll agree with is that the innovation is a good thing overall some of the things they change may completely suck like boost jumps we know they suck but different kill streaks um, different perks different guns are all excellent innovation that made call of duty what it is today so i do want to see innovation i just don't want this guy lying to us i know in this case he's talking to investors so it's a little bit off but overall i just wanted to share this with you because let's be honest the like ratio on baby the Justin Bieber music video is actually better than the like ratio on Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And for the longest time, that video, Baby, by Justin Bieber was considered to be the most disliked video of all time. And the ratio is better on that video than it is on Infinite Warfare. So, thanks for watching the video, guys. If you made it this far, hit that like button. It's really greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to it. I upload new videos every single day of the week, except for Sunday. And uh, check out my Twitter, Twitch, link in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. I love every single one of you. Peace out.